Looking for a cool way to keep your bird busy? We'll try and make one of these DIY busy mats from this video today. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well and having a fantastic week. In today's video, Pickles and I are going to talk to you all about DIY busy mats. They're great fun and it's something definitely to include in your bird's cage setup. Now you might be wondering, what is a busy mat? And it's essentially a type of toy which is a flat mat out of different materials that you can hang to the side of the cage, which has loads of toy parts on. Now you can get pre-made ones, and these are really cool, loads of stores do them, and they are great fun to climb on, to forage in, to chew and shred, and investigate and use all of that side space from your bird's cage. But who doesn't love a cheeky little DIY, and you can try some of these ones at home. Now the most common type of busy mat is a seagrass mat, but I've got two other examples to show you as well as the seagrass today so that you can try all different kinds of things with your bird with different budgets and different creativity. So without further ado let's get straight into these DIY busy mats. So here are the three busy mats I want to show you today all different materials but all fun for your birds. So let's start with the cheapest option and that is a paper plate. As long as it's not plastic coated and it's just paper you can absolutely use a paper plate for your busy mat. It's a little harder sometimes to get the string to go through and you need to be really careful you're making the holes but it's perfectly safe. It's like a blank canvas you can go from there and add lots of things on here we've got some lolly sticks some leather squares toy parts even some cardboard on there as well um, and some paper string that's holding together all these toy parts in a long string again the only limit is your creativity so use what you have in the home whether that's um things like cake cases lolly sticks whatever it is that you have that's bird safe go for it and try it with a paper plate then moving over to this one, this is a maize mat and it's from Northern Parrots, but I know other places sell them as well. It's literally just maize um, kind of husk, I don't know what you'd call it really, um, all woven into a mat. Um, and it has on this one that I've done a little espresso cup, again, all just paper with some crinkle paper inside. I made this sort of long snake-like thing with rattan balls and got some balsa up there with a rattan star. Again, this one's a bit easier to attach things onto because obviously the plate has no holes, this one has some. Um, and it only comes in this size as far as I'm aware. Uh, if anyone's seen them larger, do let me know. But this is a really nice natural material. Um, it's very easy to work with. It's very easy to shred as well. So if you have a bird that likes to shred or maybe one that struggles with harder things, maybe a maze mat is the one for you. Um, so that's my little maze mat there. And then onto the one that everybody knows, which is seagrass. Um, this is a small seagrass mat. You can get them really, really big. Um, they are slightly harder to get in the UK, but um, I know in the US they're pretty easy to access. And on this one, I've got a paper cake case, a little toy in the center. I've got a finger trap wrapped around. I've got palm leaf star and a large wooden um, kind of slat that was a bit too big for other DIY toys. I've got some <laughs> paper straws. You know, every DIY has got to have paper straws in. And they're kind of all tied together into this sort of little shape here uh, which could be really fun again you could make these into the treat straws that we do so you can hide treats in here and then fold up the edge um, and then they can try and kind of pick them off there so um this is just a really quick video showing you how to do some diy busy mats these are really great to hang to the side of the cage for your bird to enjoy however of course you can adapt it depending on how your bird likes it so if your bird prefers paper plates like a foraging tray then adapt it that way. You can just use it as a foraging tray like I did in my DIY foraging trays video a little while back, but there are so many different options for you. And if you use something different to the paper plate, the maze mat, and the seagrass mat, I would love to hear from you because I always want to expand the different things that Abba's access to. And I suppose you could even use some cardboard as well, kind of like with a paper plate. You can, um, as long as it's clean and stuff like that, you could just have that as your blank canvas and poke things through. That would be really fun to see. So I'd really love to see your creations. If you make any busy mats, like the ones I've got here, tag me on social media at Bird Nerd Sophie. I would love to see your creations for your birds. In my opinion, the paper plate one is the most affordable. It's uh, the cheapest, but slightly harder to work with. Then the maze mat is slightly cheaper for us in the UK anyway. Again, slightly more limiting in the size, but still very easy to work with and really fun to shred. And then more expensive, I would say, is probably the seagrass mat. However, it's most commonly used. Lots of birds like it. Our birds love to shred seagrass. They could shred it all day long. <laughs> and it's a very popular choice for a lot of birds. And you have more flexibility 
without attachings on there as well. So that brings me to the end of the DIY Busy Mat video. I hope you enjoyed seeing some of my kind of simple creations, but again, you can get so creative with the different ways that you can make a busy mat. You can try different materials as well, as long as they are bird safe. Now, if you do create a DIY busy mat of your own, I would love to see it. So make sure you're tagging me on social media at Bird Nerd Sophie, so I can see your lovely birds enjoying your DIYs. Also, because we love to support a small business, if there is a small business who makes really cool busy mats, I would love to hear about them in the comments as well. No matter where you are in the world, there are some fantastic shops that are making these awesome toys for birds. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having an amazing day. Take care and see you later. Bye.